Welcome back everyone. Today you are getting an exclusive look into a residential German cockroach treatment. This infestation was no joke and it's going to take multiple meticulous treatment sessions to completely eradicate these bad boys. German roaches are the notorious roaches that infest kitchens. They're widely considered the most disgusting and difficult to exterminate pests across the world. This customer came into our office a few days ago to set up the service and I'll actually give the customer a lot of credit because he blatantly admitted that there were going to be a lot of roaches and he was right. In today's video, basically, I'm going to be showing you exactly what I'm doing <laughs> and chiming in and narrating some of these events as needed. Pulled the fridge out and there was uh, just a couple of roaches back there. I sprayed Gentrol and Transport around the walls back here. Obviously, they are started to run because we've disturbed them. So I already sprayed back there. There was a big puddle of water. I think the fridge is leaking. You can see there's roaches just coming out of this wire. They're definitely, definitely behind here. I wish we could take this apart. Look at you, screwdriver. This is the first time we've been here. We were actually here like a year and a half ago. They called us back because they were still having roaches and continued their habits of not having a clean kitchen and honestly if we get this off we maybe we could just like leave it off the research shows like it does cause asthma yeah. roach feces yeah not only are they a uh, pest but they can cause severe health damage to the same yeah yeah not too awfully bad but yeah you can usually tell if someone has good roaches or not they always get that smell yeah very distinct. Yeah, you can literally smell it when you walk in the door. And it's a duplex, so we're gonna go next door. Oh boy. Yeah, they like to get in little groups like that. They're fairly social. Oh my gosh. I wonder if all those are alive. Looks like a bunch of dead ones, too. Yeah. And of course, they're gonna sit there and feed on the cars. Yeah, they, they do eat the dead roaches, which is disgusting. And, you know, normally if you don't clean up that in feces, they, they still have that uh, pheromone on it. Yeah. It's still expensive. Most of those are actually alive in there. See, the babies, a lot of people get those confused with bed bugs. Yeah. <clears throat> they they kind of almost look like different species, you know? Yeah. I think I'm done with the fridge. No. When I push back the fridge in here, guys, check out all of the roaches that are on the wall beside me. It's interesting, actually, a lot of times after we do an initial cockroach service, the customer will call us the very next day complaining about how they have been seeing more roaches than before. But this is totally normal for the first couple of days after the treatment. When we do a service like this, we want to flush them out of their normal hiding spots and force them to run over the surfaces we have treated with the residual particles. Check out this up close shot of these adult roaches on the side of this cabinet. If you look closely, you can actually see the little particles that we've already sprayed on them. Let me see the camera real quick. You can see back in there. They always hide in the back of the cabinets. All those black spots are droppings. And main problem with this house is just going to get them to clean a lot because it's not super dirty, but cluttered and and crumbs everywhere. If the roaches have food sources and places to hide, then it's just gonna be harder for us to treat this properly. Oh, wow, look, they must have put this one out themselves. Oh my God. <laughs> Completely full, pretty much, except the top isn't really, really full. Mm, sexy. <laughs> <laughs> they definitely got them. I actually hardly ever see roaches behind stoves, but I always just pull them out and treat behind them just in case. There's definitely a potential for roaches to get back there, but they prefer refrigerators more than stoves. This is another really heavy area. Gosh, I mean, I can't even see that without the camera, without the phone, but they're right behind the cabinet. In almost all of my videos, I have a flashlight, whether I'm doing a termite inspection or roach treatment. Flashlights are extremely important in order to properly execute treatments like this. Almost all pests are excellent hiders, and if you don't have a flashlight, they're just going to be creeping around the dark areas that you can't see normally. That's why they're always in the cracks, because they're hidden from light, they're hidden from predators. It's just in the nature of these pests to infest areas like this that don't have much light. And most of the time, guys, Houses that are just poorly lit, the people that live there even have a hard time seeing some of these bugs. A lot of times roaches will travel 
units, especially if they're connected. If they're separated by like a yard, if they're single family homes, that's what I hear a lot of customers say is like, oh, my neighbors across the street have roaches. And that's how I got them. Yeah, it only works if you're like in a duplex or an apartment. Yeah, yeah, this stuff, it helps flush them out of like places that I maybe missed or didn't spray directly because the particles are really small and it really agitates. It should kill some, but it, it mostly just kind of flushes them out of their hiding spots and exposes them to the gentral on transport. And I love the nozzle on this thing. So you can, you know, stick it between, there's a baby one, stick it between the cabinet and the stove and squeeze it and it, you know, gets way back in there. So. Yeah, those straws do help out a lot. Yeah, Sometimes I wish we had some that are longer. <laughs> yeah, honestly. I'm actually gonna spray the underneath side of this dining table because I saw some under here, which is crazy, but you know it's bad if they're underneath the dining room table. Oh yeah, they're just waiting on their next meal. Yep. <laughs> After you eat, they come out and eat mm -hmm. crumbs. They're like, no, oh, no, don't worry about cleaning up. We yeah. got this. Yeah. Like I bet you do. Put out some glue boards just to help us monitor how bad they are. And, and this is the second side of the duplex. We just got over here doing the treatment and pulled out the fridge. It's definitely not as bad as the other one was but there's a lot of dead roaches and a bunch of clutter back here and live ones of course if your electrical outlet looks like that all those black spots are roach droppings something like this probably got roaches behind it if you never want to get them just try to keep everything as clean as possible in the kitchen and that's where they infest 99 percent of the time Combination of moisture from the sink and refrigerator and dishwasher plus food that you're preparing plus all the cabinets is the perfect combination of food, water, and shelter for them to live in. And that's why they're always such a problem in kitchens. But this doesn't happen overnight. This takes a while for roaches to really start infesting like this. Oh yeah, see up there? That's the edge of the TV stand. Roaches on it. And I always forget to wear gloves, but you're supposed to wear gloves. And this building is pretty old too, so that does not help. It's like the floor kind of coming apart around there. Just makes for extra cracks for the roaches to hide in. The final steps in this treatment are to first apply some gel bait in the cracks around the kitchen cabinets, and then we will set out some glue boards around the whole house for monitoring. I've done hundreds of roach treatments in my career, and I'd like to offer some advice to anyone watching this video on how to prevent getting an infestation like this. My simple advice is to keep your kitchen as clean and organized as possible. It may seem straightforward, guys, but I promise I've seen people with kitchens that look pretty clean, but they have major roach problems. These are resilient pests that have survived the world for millions of years, so please keep in mind that they can survive on just the smallest amount of food particles. If you guys have any questions about what I did in this video, please just let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.